Hello everybody and welcome to Lawrence Plays GTA 5 Checkpoint Manhunt, whatever this thing is called. Um, Lawrence is today playing one of our hunters and I am the prey. Um, so for those who haven't seen this um, game mode before, we basically have a race set up um, with a number of checkpoints scattered throughout the, uh, the city um, that I as the prey need to get through um, and collect all the checkpoints and I win. The hunters obviously need to find me and stop me from doing that. Um, the way that we've got this set up at the moment is that um, the first checkpoint is in Mirror Park. So it's a bit of a race to get over there to begin with. Um, and then, once we take that, then I guess the hunt is on. So I'm trying to put as much straight line speed as I can from the Del Perro car park where we start over to, um, to Mirror Park, which is... I'm actually going the wrong way, I think. Uh, no, no, it's right. Um, yes, to, to over here, and ideally I want to be changing cards at some point very, very soon. Um, just because I'm in this very bright purple uh, Windsor drop, which is recognisable a million miles away. So I'm going to try and keep somewhat of a an eye out for a decent car as I get over here. Um, just for a laugh, I'm going to take this. It's absolutely terrible, but hopefully not obvious at all. So, let's head over. There's a checkpoint in front of me. Once I take this checkpoint, then, um, yeah, the hunt's on. So, I need to drop. So, if you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, we have... Um, right, there's the checkpoint gone. Um, we have these position indicators. Um... So I'm currently first in this race. It's this indicator that the hunter's going to be using to work out how far away I am um, from them. So what we need to do is drop into sixth place between every checkpoint. Um, that is the basically the criteria for me to be able to take a checkpoint. Um, there's a hunter coming right behind me. Has he seen me? He hasn't, though his position may have changed straight away. This might be a very, very short race in a second. If he gets out of his... yeah, he knows who I am. Let's get out of the way, because that's... yeah. Unfortunately, my, my trick of getting into a really nondescript car didn't seem to work very well. Uh, the downside I have here is that this is very, very slow. There's a hunter coming up. I'm not going to lose them very well in, um, in this. So, what I want to try and do is just get out the way slightly. Um, no, they've seen me. Darn, I, I was hoping I could have lost him. But, not to worry. Quickly turn around. Now the benefit I'll have here is, despite him taking my uh, my tyre out just there, um, from the back I'm relatively bulletproof. So, um, yes, hopefully, as long as they can't get in front of me, then I should generally be okay. With that said, they've done a nice job at trapping me there. Quickest round there was. You don't have the risk of accidentally taking out hunters' tires as well. Then it means you can just spray and pray a lot more. Yeah. Which means you can get you like might take out Found him. Uh, going past casino. Oh, I'm near the casino. What is he driving? <laughs> Who's car. driving an orange car? It's in the purple car. Really? Fuck! He's right there. Where? Stop running me over. Oh, is that you? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Jay loves the good hunting. <laughs> Sounds like that was deserved. Where where did you see him? Which way did he go? I assume uh, he's gone well, I now. I think he went north past the casino, but someone ran me over, so I may have lost him. What? How dare they? 
I was thinking purple car. He's car, heading north him. on the highway, out of the away from the casino. Right. You definitely seen him. Yes, he's doing a U-turn across the highway. He does not have the next checkpoint though, because I've got the mirror park checkpoint. No, he doesn't. Uh, I've got one of his tyres. He's right in here. cement truck, so. I, cement I, truck. I, oh, I he was in the cement truck. One of his tyres. They got back in. Oh, right, there you go. Here. Yeah. Uh, this is just the end. Very predictable. Did you get I've a front tyre or a back tyre? Yes. Can't get out. There's a, a cement truck in the way. Really? You what see the hell's going on? What the hell? I created the monster. Hello everybody and welcome to Lawrence Plays GTA 5, where today Lawrence is a hunter and I am the prey. Um, so as you can see, we are leaving here from Mirror Park, which is slightly unusual for these videos. Uh, the reason for that is um, I unfortunately had a very terrible run where I got caught within literally a couple of minutes. So we've uh, kind of reset that and this is my second run now. Um, so same rules as before um, for this checkpoint race in which there are a number of uh, race checkpoints scattered throughout the city. Um, I as a prey need to go and try and take all of them um, and the hunters, um, their job is to stop me. So a um, couple of rules that we have for that is between these checkpoints I need to drop into sixth place in the race each time. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner there I have a position indicator. That um, obviously will be used by the hunters to work out how far they are from me. So currently I'm first, obviously I've just set off, and it's seven minutes, which means the hunters are now going to be setting off themselves as well. Um, they give me a minute head start to uh, kind of get out the area and try and find the new car. So I've gone into uh, Vinewood Hills because it's a bit of a windy road and the kind of opposite direction to where the uh, where the checkpoint should be. So there you go, I've just dropped into sixth place there, so we can see now that I, um, I can go and get the checkpoint. So what I first want to do is get a different car because this is absolutely terrible. Now, what I haven't really thought through is my clothes. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit obvious. Why are you not getting that car? That was annoying. Um, oh, that'll do for now. It's not purple. Anything not purple is a bonus at this stage. Um, so, yes, I, I'm a little bit obvious uh, in terms of my character model, and I don't think I'm able to change that, which is slightly unfortunate. Um... But yes, we shall uh, start to head back. The checkpoint for this is um, over towards the airport, I believe. So what we'll do is we'll head back down now. Um, now this car I've got isn't terribly fast, but it is relatively nondescript, so that's not too bad. At this stage, the hunters are going to be trying to fan out, uh, work out where that sixth position is, um, and then slowly kind of start to to crawl in us to determine how far away I am. So one or two of the hunters will probably have tried to drive as far as they can until they get to sixth place. Um, so I haven't gone fifth yet, so they haven't quite achieved that. Um, I generally want to be... Right, there, there. I've just gone fifth, which means a hunter is this sort of distance from the checkpoint, um, as I am. Though I didn't see anyone go past, so I don't think they are at least in the direction I'm in, which is good. Um, whilst we're at these main roads, I'm going to try and stay somewhat like an AI. Just in case. Right, so, um, I'm going 5th and 6th as you can see there, um, which means they are frantically trying to work out the distance I'm at. Um, someone is probably trying to drive slowly towards a checkpoint, kind of noting where they're hitting the 6th, 5th position, reporting that back um, to kind of give a bit of a running commentary. Right, I can't see anyone around, so I'm going to make a quick dash here. Um, yeah, we're heading kind of down towards this way. In fact, this isn't the airport, this is Vespucci Canals, I believe, this one. Let's go right on the red there, because we're in America. And yeah, making a bit of a beeline into Vespucci canals here. So, it looks like we're coming up um, towards a shopping mall, I think. So, if I take a left down there, that should take me in the right sort of direction. 
I'm in a green light, I didn't even realise that. Um, that in itself would have been a bit dodgy, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, if I head down here, and I believe I can take a right um, as we get a bit closer, um, it should take me relatively close to the checkpoint. So still not seeing any hunters, um, that in itself is a good sign. Um, so let's keep heading forward. That could be a hunter? No, it's not. Um, right, but we are getting relatively close here to the checkpoint, so I'm going to um, be in a position where I want to start to try and act like an AI. I will probably go right here and then take a left. Um, right, there's a hunter there. So I know kind of they have an idea of where I am. That was a rather janky turn, I hope no one saw that. Right, and as we can see, in the middle of the Chinese monument, of course, is Mike sitting there watching traffic. So I want to be doing my best AI impression here. There's, what, one, two, three hunters there um, harassing a different car that isn't me, interestingly. Um, so let's go forward, try and act all normal. I'm definitely not a player. Um checkpoint is there to my left, so I want to be basically following this rusty old car in front of me, who kind of has the right idea. The issue I'm going to have here is trying to drive past Mike, who is actually very good at spotting uh, cars who are acting not as they should, let's say. Has Mike seen my character model? Yes, I think he has. Let's make a dash there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, as I said before, my character model is a bit um, obvious, let's say. So uh, just stopping there was enough to... Oh, nice spin. Slightly annoying. Right, let's see if we can get away from these hunters now. That was, uh, yes, a little bit annoying. But what can you do? Um, now the next checkpoint I believe is over in airport. I don't. I kind of want to head that direction ideally, but um, the issue is, as I mentioned before, I need to go um, into sixth place before I can do anything. That was actually quite helpful. Turn around there. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get out of that. No, sadly not. So is anyone fourth? I've, I've just gone fourth, fifth. So I'm guessing I've changed the Is anyone third. fourth, fifth or sixth other than Mike and Lawrence? I'm s okay. People are moving more too much. Yeah, I, I moved like 100 meters and I went from fifth. To I found first. him. Found him. Found him. Chinese monument heading towards checkpoint. He is in a beta-looking sedan, dark color, heading straight down towards the checkpoint now. Oh, missed him. Um, that's from Lawrence. Yeah. Yep. He's just taking checkpoint. Still heading south, books hit him, good work box. I got him a card shooting and then and yeah. away. Tristan and Buck are both behind him. Oh, he's been spun. Heading down south towards the beach, um, and being slowed down by drastic abuse from everyone. Oh, just missed that um, telegraph call. Yeah, <laughs> it's an army guy. Come on, aim, Lawrence. Oh, I've got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays GTA Manhunt. Checkpoint. Manhunt checkpoint. Yes, that one. <clears throat> and, oh, there goes one of the hunters. So, as usual, I'm playing the... Um, 
playing the prey at the moment, so I'm uh, lurking around trying to stay hidden from the hidden from the hunters as best I can. Um, and there's one of them in that green car there, wandering around, looking generally suspicious, uh, and acting generally suspicious as well. So I'm going to try and decide how to get up to um, the first checkpoint, which is at five ways. So that's if I turn right just after the art gallery, that's the building on the right here, and then go across the bridge, then I'll drop right onto it. And last time we played this map, I did that by mistake. Um, because I didn't really want to home in on the checkpoint quite that quickly. I think I might have given myself away. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's still oblivious to me. I don't know. The hunters are getting sneaky and they're um, they're trying to sort of keep an eye on me and whilst they call in for reinforcements and that sort of thing. And I don't like that sort of behaviour. So... I have a bad feeling about the way Tristan is patrolling at the moment. Um, actually, if he's not coming quite this far, I think I might bail off to the left here and try and try and just generally stay away from him. He's not followed me. Good. Right. Okay. Okay. So I think I might have I might have managed to actually slip away without being recognised this time, which makes a nice change. Normally, when they get that close to me, they manage to recognise me and then start chasing. So what was I saying? Yes, I was saying if I go up immediately after the art gallery, then I tend to end up going across the bridge when I don't really mean to, bit bit sooner than I mean to, and end up taking the get going straight into the checkpoint across the bridge. And the bridge is quite a nice way to take it. But it's also really obvious, and the hunters tend to keep an eye on it now, I think. So I don't really want to do that. What I want to do is go along to the next one, and then sneak up through the back roads and get myself close to the um, close to the checkpoint from that direction. So I think if I go down this way, I'll get to Chinese Monument. Oh dear. At this point, if I'm not careful, he's going to get to the point where he's keeps seeing this white gauntlet with a red stripe and gets suspicious. So I'm going to get out of here quite quickly um, just keep going along here so this is and then try to start trying to think about where I am so this is Chinese monument let's turn right here um, okay there's a bridge there it's not the one that I was taking before and there isn't a hunter right behind me okay so good I think I'm now where I actually wanted to be I have got a little bit thrown off by the way I've dodged around a bit. So yeah, there's, I think that's the art gallery there through the trees. And so there's a bridge by just after that one. And so this must be the next bridge along. So I think I am in the right place. Um, this is the one with the move. So after I go over this bridge, the movie studios will be on the left. If I'm in the, if I am where I think I am. Um, and I can then turn right. And there's some little roads that will take me up towards the checkpoint. Now they're going to be wondering what on earth I'm playing at because I got quite close and then sort of somewhat further away again. Come on lights change. Oh, I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully when there's nobody watching. So I'm going to go over here and then turn right. Let's see, am I... Have I got this generally right? Am I where I think I am? I think so, heading up towards Life Invader. So the movie studio... Yes, I am. Good. Okay, so if I turn right here, then this... If I come and get to the end of this road and then turn right, I will be basically heading straight onto the checkpoint. I'm wondering if there's any alleyways here that I can sneak through. Let's... Oh no, I've given myself away. What's he doing there? Okay, I'm going for the checkpoint now because I'm pretty close to it. I was spotted on the approach, so I feel it's justified. Now I've got both Tristan and Pete chasing me because they both happen to be in almost exactly the right place to get me. But... On the plus side, I'm in a gauntlet, which is pretty quick, as long as you don't try and um, corner too much. So I'm going to try and make the most of that, head up here into the hills, and then try and do a controlled corner here. That was I break too much for that one. But then I've got enough ooh, grip to go around again. Yes. He's still with me. I mean, to be honest, you'd hope. If he, if he wasn't with me after those two corners, he's doing something very, very wrong. <laughs> um, Maybe I can... Oh, there's another bit of a straightaway here, so I can try and put my foot down, get some distance on him. This is, as I say, this the Gauntlet is a quick car, so I want to make the most of that. 
and this is a lovely straight road. So if I belt it down here, I don't know if I'm actually getting away from him. I think I might have run into the sort of the old, all cars in GTA have relatively similar top speeds. It's just down to their acceleration. Um, yeah, because he's caught up with me a bit there. Because he is he's better at taking corners than I am, I think. He's better at, possibly better at knowing how much, just how much to break for his car. And he has a slight advantage over me in that he always drives the same vehicle, whereas I tend to switch around between them. So maybe he's got more experience and knows how, how hard he can push it or not push it. I don't know. Or maybe it's just that he's slightly better at driving than me. I mean, I, I think that's quite possible as well. But I think it's more than possible. I think it's quite likely. Ooh, no, I was going to go under the shopping centre, but... I, the car was twitching a bit too much, so I decided not to. Ooh, he had a bit of a swivel on that corner. All right, this is this now. Oh, good. He had. He definitely had a pro some problems with that one as well. So I've now gained some distance. Now, if I can, if I can get to where he loses sight of me like this, hopefully that drop is enough. If I get around this corner, oh, I didn't take that very neatly at all. No, that's he's going to. Yes, he saw me do it, but he lost a lot of speed in the on the way round. So hopefully, if I come along here and then maybe go this way, I'm not going to try that bobble onto the onto the motorway because that's a bit too awkward from that direction at, at speed. I'm just going to do a, a loop all the way around here, which is pretty dumb, I have to admit, because they might... Oh, because it's a bit too obvious and... A, oh, and he caught up with me. If I hadn't driven into that car, I'd have been a short distance ahead of him and convinced I would, I'd nearly lost him. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to have to use the ghetto. Where is he? Okay, fairly close. Now, this isn't the ideal car for ghetto-based shenanigans because I don't have that much better handle. I don't have better, significantly better handling than he does. So I'm just going to have to be unpredictable like that. I think. I mean, he knows I like taking the alleyways around Ghetto, because I often do it. Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, he's still with me. <laughs> this is going to be a long chase. We're in fairly evenly matched cars. Um, I think mine accelerates slightly faster than his. His possibly has a higher top speed. Neither of them are amazing at cornering. If I go right there, because I usually go left, maybe that'll help. Ooh, that didn't break as much as I hoped it would. Turned round? Will that help? No, he's. Ooh, maybe. No, he's he's turned round as well. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be a very long chase. I can I can just feel it. Um, basically, this chase isn't going to end until one of us makes a mistake, and I just need to make sure that it, I just need to make sure that it isn't me. He says immediately making a mistake. Oh no, I'm wedged. That was the mistake. Oh. Yeah, that was the mistake. Ah. <sighs> Oh well, <laughs> I tried. <laughs>
passing life invader. Uh, movie studios. Just not turn. He's trying to get. He's no, he turned around now, uh, heading east towards I don't know where. Uh, east from Same movie road. studios. No, he's. Uh, is this five ways? No, not quite. This is five ways. He's about to go through five ways. The same way he went before. Test your memory, Pete. South side of shopping centre. Okay. Heading I'm up the east side of shopping centre. Exactly the same. Going through... Sh no, not going through shopping centre. Changed his mind. Oh, he's turning right one road earlier than last time. Uh, north side of shopping centre, heading east. And then south... Uh, heading south past the construction site, heading towards Arcadius. Passing Arcadius now. Left me behind a bit. Uh, squares, squares ahead, I think. Blue turned left before that. I've lost sight of him at the moment. Alright, uh, not going into the tunnel under the lower higher bit. Uh, Heading back to Arcadius, heading south past Arcadius again, the east side of it, and doing that loop, whole loop again. <laughs> uh, heading towards Square Squares ish. Oh, he crashed into someone. Lower, higher slopes, the north south ones. Uh, passing the tall construction site, I believe this is. Heading towards Ghetto. Going under the highway. Round to the right, in ghetto. Ah, cars. Uh, we're on the tram lines. He's now in ghetto, so my directions are going to be terrible. Uh, he's looped back and... Uh, where is he going? Through the car wash. Uh, past Ring of Fire. Hopefully that's on the map. Uh, heading east, just south of the highway. Uh, there's a car park here, but I don't know which one it is. Oh, heading south away from the... Oh, no, he's going off into the storm drain. Yes, he's going into the storm drain. He's heading north in the storm drain. Okay, I am in the storm drain, but... Uh, he's heading out of the storm drain to the east. You shouldn't have told him you were in there, Paul. I didn't even see him, so I don't think I did. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, hello. Good way. Rude. Oh, God, I, I was so I close. I didn't realise you were that close behind me. Drain. Oh, there's a train. Hello. Amusingly, just before you caught me, I was saying this chase is just going to keep going until one of us makes a mistake, and then I immediately made a mistake. Was that when you <laughs> went into the storm drain? Uh, no, it was when I was coming out of the storm drain and I hit a. Um, oh right, the barrier. Yeah. Barrier thing. Yeah. 